Hello and good afternoon guys and gals. Uh, today I wanted to bring you this video and it's going to be in regards to the new normal in the market. Now over the last couple of weeks we have seen stocks gain 3,000, 4,000, 2,000 percent up uh, during the intraday basis, right? And we've seen kind of this big run up over the last couple of days. And if you're new or you're not new, I wanted to bring you this video to help you uh, get a decent entries on these moves that can certainly help you to grow your account. On the same token, if you don't know how to trade these names uh, because of uh, the volatility, there might be a decent chance that you're going to blow up your account. So. The first thing is that you have to go into this thing with the risk management perspective, thinking that if you don't get in at the low risk level, although it might be risky regardless of where you get in, but you have to try to find a spot which is less risky for you and your account. The first job that we have as traders is to protect our accounts because if you really don't have the ammo let's just say if you're in a war and you have a machine gun or whatever and you don't have the ammo to shoot your gun or machine gun then you can't pretty much shoot so you cannot really defend yourself so in this type of job if you don't have the account set up if you don't have the buying power you're not gonna make any money so the first thing is knowing that yes there is big opportunities here but the second thing is to know where to get in to be able to extract the profit that you can actually get but doing it in the safest way possible so that you don't blow up your account. We're going to use here, again, over the last couple of days uh, and weeks, we've seen KODK, SBI, Sava, and Husai, and a bunch of other names that has skyrocketed over the last couple of days. And in this video, I want to just talk about this, and I want to address this stuff for a minute. But I want to bring it to you with a different perspective of, yes, there is a nice possibility, but here's how you could trade this in the best way possible with the best of your abilities, of course, depending on the knowledge that you have. But again, I want to just give you a, um, here an example on WWR that this is the last name that we saw run up on Friday. And I want to show you here different time frames so that you can... You know what, uh, let me just uh, zoom in here. Uh, I want to show you here a couple of different spots that you could trade this thing and how you can do it in the safest way possible so that you can protect your account. All right, so the first thing is that now since all of these names have been moving in a pretty decent way in regards to how big these moves have been, Everybody want a piece of the pie, and this is true, but um, institutions are being called into the market in a pretty decent way, in a different way nowadays. I, I think institutions are also taking bites of this kind of stuff. We have seen how the volume over the last couple of days have gone to several millions of share street in one day. And it's not possible that Webull, Robinhood, and all of those retail traders are able just to do this on their own. So you got to know that you have to go in into these names thinking that you're going to extract the gains that you can, but you're not going to marry the trades, okay, the, the, the trades that you take. And then you have to go in, slap it, and go out. So what you have to do is try to find a decent way and a different way and try to recognize a pattern that you think it will be convenient for you because you know how to manage the risk and you know how to trade it but that other people will get up and end up buying after you do uh, other retail traders that are going to push the high uh, the price to a higher price or if you're shorting it to a lower price after you short and that's going to give you an opportunity to get in take the profits and don't just get out so 
here's the first thing we're gonna five minute time frame here consolidation on top of the view app you see how this thing starts to rack up in the free market hours he had a little bit of news and this is uh industrial natural and mineral sector uh material sector basic materials right so i can't really remember what kind of news he had but again we can see here since the pre-market hours i'm going to look at the first flag formation right here we're going to use a five minute time frame and we opened around here we dipped a little bit but coming into this pot here we got a first consolidation we got a 21 percent move with 60 cents right so it starts to consolidate around here one thing that you have to pay attention to is the flag formations everybody paying attention to the flag formations here a bunch of traders already seen this move because it's probably popping up on the scanners right so you see at the consolidation here the first flag formation that we have here in the 15 minute when we ramp up here and we have a little bit of a pause here a flag is a slowdown on the trend prior to uh, move towards the overall trend right so we can see a first push up flag here Paul the Paul here flag going sideways our consolidation is a slow uh, slow down and move and then we can have a second push up right here so consolidation here we have a flag high here of three thousand thirty four cents you see how it starts to consolidate here and starts to squeeze those candles and had volume come in on these candles though and starts to give you a range 330 330 330 331 when it reclaims its spot although it did come down here didn't break because he's holding here the low this five minute candle 3024 cents here broke 233 by one cent but the consolidation still still there not breaking the 334 right so once the first one breaks the 334 it gets when you have a high this candle right here 3034 cents when actually retested the prior high of this flag formation consolidation here at the break of that there's a bunch of people waiting for this spot so they can come in so you see the first break of this consolidation you can even take from here if you want to but the one minute time frame shows you a pretty decent consolidation here so the first break of the 334 look at how we get a little bit of a nice move to 370 all right we're talking about 35 cents right here on the first push 378 with a high here and then we get a second consolidation coming into this one this one is a little bit more clear in the five minutes right here we can see how it starts to consolidate here 370 we got a 378 three, uh, 382 high here and 382 high here so different double top formation here several areas of resistance in the one minute at 382 but it starts to give you this range and consolidate on the 374 and 370 370 370 it starts to give you this range here on this consolidation and if you look at here how it starts to give you this formation with higher lows and lower highs starts to consolidate at the break here 370 we got this candle right at 370 and then it breaks on this one 370 and it gives you this push on the first five minute candle making a new high here towards the four dollar area here whole dollar area all right so again these are moves that you can look for so you can get an entry with low risk entry towards a new move the next consolidation here is a little bit different of the five minute time frame you can see it here right and it takes a little bit more time to develop but again these are areas that you have to look for look at how the view app holds and we can see here the three thousand sixty two cents low on the prior flag formation that broke up 366 365 368 372 so all of these candles are holding on top of the low of this candle that broke the flag formation to go to the towards the holdout area 
so if you see the consolidation here we got a high of this flag or this consolidation of 409 when we broke this thing on this candle going towards 420 high we can see another flag formation here again this is the pull and the flag and the push up slow down on the trend prior to resuming the move towards the overall trend pull flag and then push up again towards the high we got a high at 562 on the day so I look to make sure here yeah 562 on the day again what I want to do here is just show you clean patterns that you could take so you can risk small because many other people are looking to get in exactly at the break of those patterns the key is to buy what you think is going to come be more volume coming in and more people is going to buy after you buy or short into spots where more shorts are going to come in and hit those levels after you come in right exactly the same thing happened the other day i put a short into uh, stock the other day I can't really remember the ticker right now but it was holding a lot of resistance at $15 and I noticed that 15 was really heavy and there was a lot of demand coming in I was short into it but it was a lot of demand on the bid coming in but then the supply somebody was supplying so much volume at 15 that it was holding so strong right there that we had a bunch of dojis if you didn't pay attention to the volume there you might think that there was no volume because there was a bunch of dojis and we just had a bunch of um, gravestone dojis just one line like this that was not moving from 15 to 15 to 1 to 1499 so it was the same spot right there you would have thought that there was no volume but then the time and sales in that tape was just flushing through a bunch of orders with a lot of volume but there was a, a so the demand was so strong at 14.99 but then the supply somebody was just supplying that orders at 15 so strong that the buyers had to go away in the bid and then that short slam that on the ass so strong they were being supplied so the spot was being sponged and they slammed the price right back down and that happened like two three days ago i can't really remember the ticker i have to go back and watch it but i just wanted to give you that idea right now so that's the what i'm trying to convey here to you is you have to go in at spots that you think people are gonna come right after you and if you can do that if you can find those spots if you can find those patterns then the risk is going to be a little bit lower for you in instead of just buying or selling something just for the sake of doing it just taking pure chance if you really don't know if the pattern is going to work or not wait don't chase because fomo is very real wait don't chase and look for patterns that you can recognize and that many other people will trade alongside you so you can take profits and do so with a low risk 